let's start with some technology news. If you're a Samsung owner who survived your exploding phone, good news. <laughs> the new phones break in a less explodey kind of way. Samsung is postponing the release of its highly anticipated Galaxy Fold smartphone. That's after reviewers reported problems with those screens that fold like a sandwich. Test users reporting all sorts of problems. Debris getting underneath the screen, malfunctioning displays, even total failure of the device after just a couple days of basic usage. Yes, it turns out it isn't a good idea to take a screen and fold it in half. <laughs> I'll be honest, though, I'll be honest. I'm bummed about this, because I don't need a folding phone for anything. But I, I liked this idea, you know? I liked how it made me feel like we were in the future, you know? Like, when was the last time you had a phone that did that? Because new phones are just like, your old phone has two cameras, but this one has three cameras. Ooh. <laughs> it makes the background blurry. My grandmother makes the background blurry every time she takes a picture. All right? <laughs> That's not a feature. But a folding screen, that was futuristic. I just wanted to get this phone so that I could show it off to my uncles in Africa, blow their minds. Just be like, what if my phone could fold? And be like, oh, Trevor, what is this magic? <laughs> and I'd be, yes, it's magic. Oh, you are a witch. Ban him, ban him. Be like, it's not magic. Look, look, it breaks if I fold it. It breaks if I fold it. Oh, it's only a Samsung. Thank God, okay, okay. <laughs> I actually have a conspiracy theory about this. You guys want to hear it? Yeah. All right, this is crazy. Sometimes I think, Apple secretly owns Samsung, <laughs> and then they have them screw up all the time just to make the iPhone seem better. Yeah, because every single time I get frustrated with my iPhone battery or something slowing down, then there's a story in the news like, Samsung phones have Ebola now. I'm like, <laughs> I guess I'll keep you, iPhone. <laughs> Still in the world of technology, Tesla has announced that if you can't afford to buy one of their super cool cars, that won't be a problem for too long. Tesla CEO Elon Musk is promising self-driving taxis will hit the streets by next year. Musk says Tesla owners will be able to use a smartphone app to put their vehicles into commercial service when they're not using them. Under the program, Tesla would collect 25 to 30 percent of the fare charged to riders. Okay. I don't know how popular this idea is gonna be. Because if you can afford a Tesla, you probably aren't super excited <laughs> about letting some random dude eat a tuna sandwich in it for $11. <laughs> and there's other risks as well. I mean, if your car gets a job as a taxi, then at some point, your car's gonna start acting like a taxi, right? <laughs> You're gonna get in one morning and it'll be like, I'll tell you who really killed JFK, Russians from outer space! <laughs> Cause like, just think about all the risks. You don't know what your car's doing, it's gone, right? You park your car at the office, and then when you come back after a long day, you open the door, all of a sudden it's full of blood. And you're like, what happened? And the car's like, I don't know. <laughs> I ain't no snitch. <laughs> and finally, Netflix. It's the second most popular form of entertainment in the world. And now, it might be taking down the first. A new study suggests that some people may prefer the Netflix part of Netflix and chill. Researchers say streaming entertainment has become so popular that one in four viewers has turned down intimacy in favor of just watching something on TV. And because of the binge TV model and a lack of commercial breaks, some think that this could be contributing to the all-time low birth rate that we have been seeing in the U.S. Let's be real. This is one of those studies that sounds like BS. TV doesn't stop you from having sex. You can just have sex while you're watching the show. <laughs> yeah, like, if you're watching The Daily Show at home right now and you want to have sex, you can have sex. I'll wait. <laughs> yeah. No, no, don't, don't leave the room. Don't leave the room. <laughs> just stay there, uh-huh. Oh. Oh. Oh, so that's how it's done. Okay. Oh, you're done? Okay. All right, let's move on.